Welcome back for part two of the Raptor Liner truck. It's been a little over a month since my last video. I painted this side and I've been super busy, so I'm just now getting around to doing the rest of it, but we're going to get it done today. Hey, it's been a little over a month and it's held up great. I haven't had any peeling or anything like that, so I'm going to paint the rest of it. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to sand the rest of the truck. I'm going to paint it in sections. I'm going to do the, the tailgate, the top of the cab, and the hood and then uh, let that dry for a little bit and then we'll tape it up and we'll paint this other side. I think that will be the best way to do it so there's no overspray on anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now for my favorite part, the sanding. Phew. I did 180 grit on this other side that I painted in my other video, but I got some 80 grit and I'm gonna use it for the rest of it. It's really because I don't wanna go to the store and get some more 180 grit. So I got some of this 80 grit, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> So, here we go. Start sanding it. Hey, I watched that roast of Tom Brady on Netflix last night. <laughs> they didn't hold back on him. Oh my God. If you haven't watched it, be worth a watch. It's pretty funny. There's a guy commented on my other video said, won't you use it in your bed since it's truck liner? <sighs> you got to get on board, bud. Screw this truck bed. I had to do a little bondo work here. I had a pretty good size dent in it. I had to pull it out and put a little fiberglass bondo stuff in there, and then I skim coated it so maybe it won't crack. Hey, if it cracks, Maybe this wrapped the liner will hold it together, you know what I'm saying? Man, I hate sanding. I have an air sander, but I was thinking most people at home probably don't have an air sander, so I'm going to do it the way they do it. I'm going to hand sand it. It's done got hot here in Mississippi. You basically just want to get any shiny spot off the car. That's what you're trying to do. Give this uh, Raptor Liner a little something to adhere to, you know. They sell those Raptor Liner kits to where like you can, uh, it's got like a jug and you can put it on your air compressor and spray it, but I done sprayed the other side with the rattle can and I'm going to spray the rest of it with the rattle can too so it all match. Look at this. I got sweat dripping off my nose. Ooh. And they got humid out here. You're talking about a cheap paint job. Ended up buying seven cans, and they're like around $20 a can. So it's got like $140, probably $150 to $60 with taxes in this. That's a cheap paint job, and it's going to last. <laughs> I ain't telling you if you got a $60,000 truck to go spray it with Raptor Liner, but hey, if you got a little work truck or hunting truck or something like that, you can get that Raptor Liner in different colors. Use some green and black and put some leaves on it and make a camo pattern on it. I had a 2018 F-150. I sold it about a year ago or so. They offered me more money than I paid for it five years ago. I sold that sucker. It's the only truck I got right now. <laughs> Can't afford to go buy one now. They're so expensive. I just got to sand the top of the cab now. Whew, hate sanding. Somebody else commented and say, man, you ruined your paint job. I made it better. Hey, if you're from the South and you don't think this is awesome, then taking your redneck card away okay all right let's blow it off now all right all right i got some degreaser and wipe it down I 
I bet those people at Raptor Liners, if they ever seen this video, they're like, this is not what this was designed for. <laughs> oh. All right, I got some of this plastic that's got the tape on it. Hey, this is really handy when you're doing stuff like this. Hey, pre prepping it is what takes so long. We'll spray this thing in about 20 minutes. Climb up here. Take my windshield up. I need a new windshield on this thing, but got a crack on this side, so. Take my antenna up a little bit. Let's go paint this section. The first video, I, I painted this side, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna run some plastic over it. That should be good enough. My front clip here is uh, painted and it looks good. So I think I'm going to leave it. Have a little contrast in it. What y'all think? If it looks like crap, we can always go back and paint it. You can get this plastic at Lowe's. I think it's like $10 a roll. It's not bad. I need to tape my back window and light and bumper up and be ready to spray it. My light. I think we're ready. Woo. It's going to take me a clean rag and go over it one more time. I'm going to spray this sucker. Hey, do me a favor and subscribe, please. I'm not making any money off this, you know. Last time I checked, it was like 156 subscribers. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I appreciate y'all. I said I was going to do it in sections, but I'm just going to spray this sucker. I'm just going to put one solid coat on it and we'll let it dry, then we'll put another coat. That's one can. I think I could do it with uh, the four cans, two for each coat. So. What y'all think about that? Got a little bit left in this can, but it always looked better on the second coat. Once you get all the scratches and all that stuff covered up, and then the second coat will go back over it really smooth and even. It's time for the second coat. There's two cans. 
The second coat, I'm just going a little slower, just trying to make it as even as possible. Hey, it's looking good so far. This stuff is not as textured as what you would think. I mean, it's got some texture to it, but it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. All right, here we go. We got two cans left, so should be plenty. Got one more can for the hood. What y'all think, huh? I think I've done that pretty good. I'll let it dry a little bit and I'll tear it down and pull it outside and show you what it looks like. Here's what it looks like outside after it's dried for about an hour. Well, thank you for watching and subscribe, please, and I'll catch you next time.